Hello, this is Socially Triggered, and this video is going to be on the appeal of slavery. Fortunately, slavery was abolished in 1834 on August 1st in the British Empire, and then later in the U.S. in 1865. I'm not going to argue why people want to enslave others. The reason for this is obvious. Power, free labor, control, etc. But what I want to question is why would people choose to be slaves? In the past, people became slaves for many reasons. One was they were conquered. They were conquered lands and people were enslaved by other nations. Others were enslaved through debts. Other, and still others were enslaved when they were family members sold them to be slavery or they put themselves into slavery for debts or whatever reason. There's also a Chinese morality lesson where a man sells himself into slavery in order to pay the cost of his father's funeral. Many of the first settlers to North America sold themselves into slavery in order to pay the cost of the trip. It was called indentured servitude, but really it was a short duration form of slavery, which usually lasted about five to seven years. So why would people volunteer to be slaves? Why would people volunteer to be slaves now? This is what I really want to discuss. In order to understand, we first must understand what is slavery. Slavery means that one is owned by somebody else. Their freedom does not exist. The owner of the slave can do with them as they wish. They can create rules of conduct that the slaves must have follow. They can tell the slave how to dress. They can tell the slave where they can live. The slave cannot own anything themselves. What the slave owns is really owned by the slave owner. And the slave has no freedom to say or do as they please. The slave owner can punish them if they feel the slave has spoken out of turn or said something that displeases them. The slave owner can sees the slave as less than themselves and treats the slaves as children. The slave owner rules over the slave and sees each slave as no better or no less than the other. The slaves are equally low and just property to their masters. However, there are benefits to slavery. The slave owner often provides for the slave. They are given shelter, food, a job, and are cared for, though maybe harshly, throughout their lives. The slave may not be free, but as long as they do as they're told, they can often live peacefully and are cared for for their whole entire life. Sure, if the slave steps out of line and doesn't follow the master's rules, they, they are punished. The master usually has people who fairly determine the punishment based on the transgression and others who will enforce the punishment. Though it is really at the whim of the master to set those rules and punishments, but the slave's decisions are made for them and they don't need to worry about the big picture. The masters will make these hard decisions. The masters will provide for them. The masters will take care of them from when they're children to when they're very old. The masters will provide an education and care for them if they are sick. Sure, the quality of education in healthcare might be mediocre, but the slave need not worry about the cost of it. It is free education. It is free healthcare. The slave only needs to give up their freedom and all their worries will be handled by the government. I mean, by their masters. So why do people volunteer to be slaves? This has been Socially Triggered. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and check out my other videos. Thank you. Bye.